doing right now. Please welcome Dr. Joey Schulman to the show. Hi, Miss Jack. It's good to have you. Good to be back. Yeah. It's yeah. great to be back. You know, it's been a great summer, and, you know, we were just saying you had a great time with your family. I had a great time with my family. Everybody loves summer because there's a lot of freedom, and you're yeah. a little bit more unstructured. Now we need to talk about, a little bit about getting back on track. Yep. So you've got five <laughs> tips for us, and they're little things that can make a huge difference if you are trying to stay on the wagon yep. and, and eat clean and be healthy. Yes, I'm in the health business, and every day people come to me, and they want to feel better, they want more energy, they want to lose weight, but yeah. they're overwhelmed. So some people don't want to do a major health health overhaul yeah. and that's okay these five little tips literally will make you feel much better I think it's good to go that way too because it's all about the baby steps you do the little things and then you're more able to do the bigger things so just start somewhere absolutely the first tip I just want to talk about is to eat until you're sufficiently sufficed okay. now that's a hard thing to do because you have to be very mindful about how you're eating yeah so people tend to eat later in the day and they overeat and then they feel bloated and they gain weight Here's my rule. When you go to sleep, mm -hmm. don't be hungry mm -hmm. because nobody wants to go to sleep hungry. That's uncomfortable. You can't sleep. Can't hungry. sleep. It's hard. But don't be overly full because mm -hmm. that's uncomfortable too. So mm -hmm. you know you're in the zone. If you go to sleep, you go, yeah, I feel just right. That's health tip number one. That's a game changer. And that's mindfulness. That's mindfulness. That's which really tapping into, am I hungry right now or do I just want a little snack? Which I get is easier said than done. Yeah. Number two, just go for green. We used to say leafy greens. I'm at the point, any green. <laughs> just, just people, eat some green, okay? So it can be edamame, avocados. What I've brought here is a green powder, and this is green water with chlorophyll in it. Okay. You can add chlorophyll to your water, and um, buyer beware, chlorophyll is amazing for you. It does stain your clothing, so I'm mm. sorry to my client that it stained her clothing. I should have warned her. Yeah. So it does stain your clothing, but it's very energizing, and it helps your system become alkaline. Okay. So just eating more green is a huge tip for your health. How does that taste when you add chlorophyll to your water? Uh, you it taste get... like you're drinking a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, Maybe no, a little, a little bit, bit. But you can get mint flavored chlorophyll. Okay. Yeah, so All it's right, great. So that, too, if you don't like water. the leaf taste. Okay. Um, number two is vitamin D. We're going to lose our sunlight very soon. It's starting to go down, I down, know. down. I know. So sad. So, in addition to supplementing, you can get vitamin D rich foods. People who are low in vitamin D, they're increased risk to depression, cancer, and heart disease. Yeah, you're not going to be feeling good about life if you've got no vitamin D. That's it, it's right? A happy, happy vitamin. This is so important. Hydrate like crazy. Yeah. City Line viewers have heard me a million times saying, drink your water, drink your water. There's other ways to sneak hydration in. And you okay. can sneak it in with some nice sodium, um, low sodium chicken broth or some coconut water, which you can put in your morning smoothie or drink it straight. It is fantastic for you. Okay, so you're a big uh, supporter of the coconut. The I, coconut I'm, water, the coconut oil. I use coconut oil. You do. My I husband am, drinks the coconut water. I'm a big supporter of it. It's great for electrolytes. It's the right type of fat if you're having the coconut oil. It's the right type of fat for your body. Okay. I'm Good a big stuff. supporter of it. Now, it's 3 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I am losing people. I can't yes. say it enough. That's when the wheels fall off the nutritional cart. Yeah. Everyone, everyone, everyone has to plan smart snacking. It will change your health. So I'm okay if you skip your morning snack. No big deal. Don't skip your afternoon snack because mm -hmm. then you're going to have the dinner before dinner. Right. And then you're going to have too big of a dinner. Everyone's laughing when I said dinner before dinner because I know what I'm talking they know. about. They Cheese know and crackers before right dinner. before dinner, right? Mm -hmm. We don't want dinner before dinner. We want a smart snack. So whether it's yogurt, whether it's hummus and vegetables, whether it's a piece of fruit, whether it's nuts, whether it's a healthy bar, I want you to have a really good snack. And I choose to see that as positive advice because you're actually saying, please eat at 3 p.m. Please do it. No matter what you were doing, stop and eat between 3 and 4. Absolutely. Just make sure it's something good. But I love being given permission to go eat. Go eat. I don't care <laughs> how that's coming or in what form, but if you're telling me I've got to eat between 3 and 4, you're going to set like your you. watch. There's yeah. an alarm going to go off. This is yeah. going to be a good part of my day. Fantastic. But 3 or 4 o'clock, I'm losing people. So please, again, whatever your snack will be, yeah. grab something at that time. Okay. All right. So you're hydrated. You've got your vitamin D. You're feeling good. You're eating anything green, green. and you're eating between 3 and 4 and being mindful. And being mindful. And it yeah. will change the health game. Promise. Absolutely. Promise, promise. Okay. So I've, I've tried your new protein bars Yay. and they are amazing. Amazing. They Good. almost are like a Rice Krispie square, but with flavor. They're uber healthy, all natural, 10 grams of protein. The big it's thing for me, protein. lower, they, we don't need all this sugar in these bars. So yeah. these are low, low and blood sugar balancing. So the perfect yeah. snack.
snack. Very nice. And uh, they're okay for kids too, right? Yeah, they're, they're certified peanut free, so they can yeah. actually go into the school system as well. Okay, because that's what I've been doing. Okay, so, good. Yeah, they go to their, they go to their, in their lunches. Dr. Joey's, no, Joey's new protein bars are now uh, available for everyone. So each bar contains, as you mentioned, 10 grams of protein. Yep. They're gluten free, they've got low GI, coconut sugar, and they're peanut free. And thank you to Joey. Everyone in the audience will take home a box of bars. <laughs> fall and you know what it is getting a little bit cooler and now is the time when a lot of us sort of have a lot of food snack foods around we talked about that a little bit Joey and about being a little bit more mindful I want to know what your favorite fall comfort food is can you do this healthy a hundred percent okay it's chili chili with a little bit of goat's cheese mm. is my heaven all through the winter and you can be totally healthy with that of, of course yeah, chili's yeah. great for you yeah. mine would be Greta. sweet potatoes in some form I chop them up and uh, toss them in coconut oil with some warm spices and roast them in the oven and they're delicious even to cut them in wedges as a nighttime snack that's so good that's great I can never get sick of sweet potato fries no. how and about pumpkin pie no yes. <laughs> with lots of whipped cream on top oh, yeah. forget the healthy part oh, just I go like for that. it splurge worthy and Karen uh, I was gonna say chips actually <laughs> but I'm not really feeling part of the club here so maybe uh, cream of broccoli soup no I like chips okay, but chips <laughs> yeah. is good with, do you with, have a specific flavor chips? that you like oh I uh, well I like plain but like salty I love salt mm. I know I this all like the wrong thing don't listen to me okay, listen, to her. Her. Okay. listen to her you're a salty girl that's good Eva what is your fall comfort food my mother's goulash she has to make it because I've tried. It yeah. doesn't work that way. Her goulash is perfect. Go it's never like tonight. mommy. <laughs> yeah. Well, mine is pretty much the same all year round. Anyone want to guess? Chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Shocking. why would I switch that one up? That's my favorite fall comfort food. Thanks for hanging out with us today on City Live. We'll see you tomorrow.